I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. This is Deanna, by the way, from Soaps.com. Deanna? And oh, nice it's job. paternity mayhem right now in Landview. <laughs> yeah. And so? Craziness. Is it nice to see Rex get in on some secret reveals? Yeah. Um, it's, it's nice for Rex to be in anything. Um, but uh, this is kind of a big one because uh, this is one that's tormented him for uh, the greater part of a decade. Um, uh, he finds out who his parents are finally. Uh, supposedly, this, this is it. This is the real deal. Um, Echo D. Savoy, played by Kim Zimmer, is coming out, is, is out as his mother, and she's new to town. And it's kind of, it's good that he's finally getting this mom, but it's bad because uh, she, in Rex's eyes, Echo isn't a very uh, trustworthy, decent uh, person. And he's going off of this because Vicky, uh, Vicky, one of the greatest characters, in t if not the greatest character uh, we have in town, does not like Echo. And Rex is like, well, if Vicky doesn't like Echo, I shouldn't like Echo, and I shouldn't really believe anything she says. So she announces to everybody that she's his mom. Half of him believes it, half of him is weary, and he's a private investigator, so he's gonna, he's gonna look into it and deeper, and then he's gotta deal with who his fathers are, uh, because Echo isn't sure, um, and so they're gonna have to get paternity tests. So I have to go to a, we're gonna go to a DNA, a DNA lab, get the paternity test, get our mouths swabbed, test tubed up, sent off to the lab to find out who his parents are, or who his fathers are, father is. Uh, Good question. Good. That's a good question. Who would make the most interesting storyline? Snoop Dogg. <laughs> um, the most. Between Clinton and Charlie, of course. Of course. Uh, it's interesting for for two ways. Uh, it's interesting because Charlie is a really nice guy, and it would just make everything great and happy, and it would be good for Gigi and Shane, and uh, he's he's with Vicky, so it brings him closer to Vicky and everything like that. Uh, it would be, it's interesting if it's Clint, because Rex hates Clint more than anything else. He, he wouldn't even send a sympathy card to Natalie if Clint died, because even though Natalie's a sister, because he, he hates Clint. Uh, but on the flip side, Clint has a lot of money, and it's got the Buchanan fortune, blah, blah, blah. So either one is going to be interesting, but for different reasons. Clint would be interesting because of how nasty he is. Charlie would be interesting because of how nice he is and how good it would be for Rex's uh, son and uh, mother of his son. So, right. yeah. How far will Clint go to make sure it's not him? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Clint would probably have Rex killed if he needed to, uh, to hide it. He doesn't want anything to do with Rex. I don't know exactly what Jerry would, would say about this, but I don't think that I, Clint, Clint would gnaw off his own leg before uh, wanting Rex to be in on his life like that. Right, and you know, on top of everything he already feels about Clint, assuming Rex ever learns the truth of, of what Clint will go to to do that, will he ever be able to get over it and, and have a relationship with him? With Clint? Yeah, if it's him. Uh... It, it's going to take a lot of, unless Rex digresses, because Rex has matured in the last few years because of having a son and having to, to raise this family and be the father figure. Rex has really grown up from his old bad boy ways when he first came to Landview. Um, so unless Rex digressed to Clint's level, um, Clint would have to do a lot of groveling to, to and uh, just make up just all sorts of making up uh, for Rex to accept him. That, that's tough. That's tough. It, it's funny you mentioned that because one of my questions was actually whether or not you missed his bad boy ways. I mean, would it be such a bad thing if he regressed? Actor, come, as an actor, John Paul, it's been a while since I got to play those really bad boy things. And of course, that's always a lot of fun. Uh, so I wouldn't mind the next Couple, you know, forty uh, percent of the next year, me doing bad stuff. It'd be fun, um, but I don't n think that it, it wouldn't be good for for him as as the father that he is, and the guy trying to run a reputable nightclub and a PI business. Um, 
I mean, it'd be, of course, because it's a soap opera and it's stories, it'd be fun to see Rex fall apart a little bit and, and digress. Yeah. Um, and as an actor, yeah. Um, I think the fans should write in and say what they think should happen because we listen to the fans a lot. Yeah. And do you, can you see Rex in either Clint or Charlie? Oh, well, yeah. I, uh, well, if, if, Clint turned out to, if Clint turned out to be his dad, then that makes sense. The bloodline that Rex had early on as a kid in Atlantic City and doing bad things, and when he came to Landview and tried to steal money, uh, it, it makes sense for Clint's blood to be in him. But then it makes sense for Charlie's uh, blood to be in him because of the nice guy that he is and uh, family man and things like that. Um, but now that you mention it, and I never thought of this before, Charlie's an alcoholic, and that's a storyline that I have yet to play, uh, like a, a substance abuse sort of issue. Uh, we've had a lot of that on our show. I've never done it, uh, so as that might be kind of interesting um, to justify an abuse, an al uh, a substance abuse issue because of Charlie. So, right. yeah. Thanks. Is this whole thing going to bring them closer together, push them apart? Um, I think that it's going to bring them closer together. Um, I think uh, those jets are going to shoot off like a rocket ship uh, when Gigi's finally back from Paris. Hopefully. I don't know. I think it's out. it's a temptation. It was a tease. It's a tease issue. Um, Gigi was absolutely justified in in what happened with her uh, because of the phone calls. Well, if anybody was watching Dor people who were Dory and the phone call and saying that G Rex was out on a date with Kelly. And my God, they've already bumped into each other. You know, eighty three times naked and j towels and showers and and things like that. So Gigi is, it's, it's understandable. They were drinking, they're in the city of love, her and Christian, and he, with the Layla, the Layla stuff, uh, you know, it makes sense. With the Rex and Kelly stuff, um, I, think it, I think it's more, they're, they're good friends. They're, Rex, and Gigi are, or Rex and Kelly are very good friends, and uh, it started off as a business uh, transaction, Kelly hiring Rex. I think it's, it was really for the journey for Kelly's character, uh, finding out her place back in Lambview, who she wants to be with, her, her the, the ideas of love and relationship in her own head, and Rex just sort of happened to be the good friend that was there. It's it's innocent, it's harmless. Um, we'll see what the viewers have to say, uh, but uh, it was just a it was just a an alcoholic uh, friendship moment of discovery. Last question. Okay. Well. We don't, we don't, our wardrobe department doesn't have a lot of clothes, so we usually, we, we, they really only give us underwear and they tell us to make it work. That's hysterical. Okay, this is actually, I'm going to give you one more question and I'll let you go. All right. Do you have any druthers about who should be Rex's dad? Do I have any what? Any, like, if, do you have a choice? Do you want oh. it to be either of the guys? Um, I'm, I, I, I go with the flow. Um, I, I, I let the, I try to justify everything the writers put on the page for me. So, uh, it's, no, it, no, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 for everybody. No, it's, it's, I'll try, I try to make fun out of anything they give me. Right. They could have my dad turn out to be, you know, um, Gigi and I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay, yes. That'll be fun. Well, I can't wait to see how this plays out. Thanks oh, for good. talking to me. You're very welcome. All right. Have a good weekend. You too. Okay, Bye. Hold for a second for some room tone for us.